My have the tables have turned. Keith one time, sometimes, anytime. <laughs> Thurman wants all the smoke with the winner of Arrow Spence versus Danny Garcia. What a difference a few years makes. Let's talk about this right here on Gym TV. You know we've been fighting for one and still fighting to this day, to this day. So Keith Thurman wants to get back in the mix in the welterweight division after a nice long layoff. After losing to Manny Pac-Man Pacquiao, who's probably 140-something years old and still whipping up on these younger guys. Interview on boxing scene. I don't know exactly which interview it was, but they got. It. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, Keith one time Thurman says he wants the winner of Errol Spence. And Danny Garcia sometime in 2021. What up? What's going on, Gym TV family? This is your boy, Get a Mic. Much love, peace, and blessings to everybody checking into the video. Don't be afraid to smash the like button. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Y'all know the routine. And the first thing I thought when I saw this was my had the tables have turned. Since when do you hear Keith Thurman saying that he wants to fight Errol Spence Jr.? He already fought Danny Garcia. So that would just be a rematch. But since when does he have to go through multiple surgeries? Did he have to take his first loss? What is going on? What is going on? We know it's fight week. Errol Spence versus Danny Garcia is going down. Arlington, Texas, AT&T Stadium is going down, man. It's going down. But let's get into this, man. Keith Thurman, what is the reason? behind him now and eventually wanting this fight all right i'm hearing rumors and talks about him possibly getting a fight with your dennis ugas and some other possible fights as well but the question is the question is does keith thurman really deserve to be thrown back into the mix at the top right now okay some people might argue that he should probably take some tune-ups and figure out a way to get back into the mix and work his way back before getting the top dogs, right? Some could make that argument, but my thing is this, okay? Keith Thurman, to me, over the past few years, has not shown to me that he's really, really has been taking boxing super serious apart from the big money fights or trying to make the money fights, okay? He seems like he's been enjoying himself, you know, going overseas, trying to make the money. And this is no shade to Keith Thurman. I like Keith Thurman. I just, just got to give my thoughts on this particular situation. All right. I met Keith Thurman. Cool dude, man. I got much love for Keith Thurman. I want y'all to know that. But I'm just giving my thoughts and y'all can give y'all's down in the comment section, right? So he didn't seem as anybody who was particularly as hungry as he used to be back when he was KOing people. He was one time, you know what I'm saying? And um, just really at the top of the world to weight division at a certain point right so now all of a sudden you know he goes through the situations that he went through he had the shoulder injury where he was pushing fights back and and, and saying he got to get back and he got to get back and it took him a long time right he finally gets back into the ring he gets in there with Josecito Lopez puts on a pretty decent performance and almost could have got stopped uh <laughs> you know what i'm saying <laughs> he almost got stopped sometime around seventh round if i if i can remember correctly anywhere between the seventh and the ninth round he had a little struggle but he definitely got in there and finished the fight he looked good all right um but you know with this arrow spence thing we know arrow spence been calling out keith thurman for a long time man and, and and got a lot of love back in the day but a lot of people started turning away from keith thurman because of all the all avoidance of the Errol Spence fight, okay? Avoiding, just really avoiding people asking him questions and, and he just kind of avoiding. But he, he always did say that at some point he feel like that fight would happen in the future, but not right now, okay? So a lot of people call them duck time sometimes and all that other stuff, right? Including me. Now, could this be just Keith Thurman's fault? You know, could it be just his fault or, or is... The PBC and Al Heyman part of, part of the blame for this, man. I know a lot of brothers, you know, good brothers out there believe and feel like, you know, a lot of the guys on PBC, you know, haven't been able to fight each other. You know, they haven't been able to mix it up with each other. Um, 
and and, and it's not all necessarily the fighters' fault. Sometimes it's, it could be just the matchmaking and how you know Al Heyman and them want to move their fighters around and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, man, you know we know that that in particular could at one point have been a big fight. Okay, it could have been a big fight, and I, I mean at this point, you know you can still make the argument that it'll be a still a entertaining build up to that fight. It, it'll still be fun. You know what I'm saying? After all of the, the 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 hype and all of the stuff that it was up one point and then it went down with all the ducking and no everybody moved on to Terrence Crawford. So there's still that backstory that eventually uh, could still make it an inter interesting build up to the fight and also uh, just the the way their styles match up. You know, Errol and, and Thurman they that could they could make for a pretty interesting fight, man. Obviously, the majority of us is gonna give the edge to Errol. You know, just 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 off you know pure you know <laughs> boxing knowledge or you don't even have to have a ton of boxing knowledge but i think it'll still make for an entertaining fight uh nonetheless but you know i don't have a problem with him saying he wants the winner man but i just i, I mean i want to hear y'all thoughts down in the comment section do you believe that keith thurman deserves that fight in 2021 the winner of this fight or do you think he need to get in there and mix it up with some of these other uh fighters you know in the what's weight division before trying to shoot to the top and, and, and fight the top guys because i mean after all manny pacquiao did put hands on him you know what i'm saying he did knock him down early in the fight and and, and really outpointed him outspeeded him uh <laughs> i don't know if that's a word right outspeeded him but he he, he put hands on thurman man and, and and it's not a good look so um but with that being said it is what it is i mean hell i still watch the fight you know what i'm saying i, I was still not mind watching that i definitely wouldn't mind watching it man but like i said man make sure y'all leave your thoughts down in the comment section let me know how you feel about keith thurman saying that he wants the winner of spence danny garcia do you think he deserve it should he get back in there man that's a good question man let's chop it up much love peace and blessings to the brothers and sisters man i know i ain't make a video in a few days wanted to get in here real quick and chop it up with y'all man hopefully we'll start uh getting this thing popping it is fight week and we got some stuff we got to sort out before the fight man so that's all i got for this one man we will talk much love peace and blessings and i'm out of here peace